Hi, I'm volcanologist Dr. Janine Krokner, and this is my guest. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Tingay from the University of Adelaide in South Australia. I'm an Associate Professor of Geology and Geophysics, and this is my son Morgan who wants to join in. Hi, Morgan. <laughs> and so we have, as Morgan has been showing us, two types of volcanoes, magma volcanoes and mud volcanoes. Can you please tell us what a mud volcano actually is? So it's like a volcano filled with mud. <laughs> That's <laughs> right, isn't it? So a mud volcano is anywhere that we have an eruption of mud at the surface. And they're quite different to lava volcanoes, the magma volcanoes that everyone knows and loves, don't they? Rather than erupting molten rock, they erupt water mixed with things like clay to make a mud. So clay and sand. And so they erupt mud at high pressure. And we see them in three main types. We get mud volcanoes that occur around magmatic volcanoes, and they're driven by hydrothermal energy. So the, the heat from the volcano drives the water to the surface. Then we get the other type of mud volcano, which are big ones uh, that we see in places like Azerbaijan, and they're driven by high pressures in sedimentary basins where the fluid pressure in the pore space in the rocks gets so high that it can drive the fluid uh, up faults and fractures to the surface. And there's a third type of mud volcano that we're only just starting to learn about called serpentinite mud volcanoes, which occur near subduction zones. But the type of mud volcano that I tend to study is usually the one that we see in sedimentary basins. And they can be very big, even the size of mountains. Is that right? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this volcano moment. <laughs> Bye. Anytime, Janine. Thank you.